What's going on guys? Welcome to the lounge here at Hunt Homestead. My name is David and today we're going over uh, a 9 and 12 year old. That's, that sounded creepy. That, uh, that, that sounded creepy. <laughs> All right, as mentioned, I'm gonna go through both the nine year and the 12 year. I'm gonna do it blind. I'm gonna see if the 12 year, if that extra three years really makes a difference enough to pay the extra, I don't know, 25, 30 bucks and the hunt for it. This, for me anyway, this is relatively harder to find. So we're gonna find out if it's worth it. So the reason I'm doing this one is because uh, about a month, two months ago, someone told me that they just finished a bottle of 12 year and they didn't really see that big of a deal. They can tell much of a difference between that and the nine year. So they'll just go back and get the nine year. Maybe, I don't know. That's, that's what they said. I'm gonna do it and see if I can tell a difference and see uh, see what happens, see if I can justify getting another one of these, I guess. So, I'm gonna get them poured out, we're gonna mix them up, and then I will go through them. So, in glass A, will be the nine year. Uh, A, okay, nine comes before 12. And A comes before B. So A is nine year, B will be the 12 year. And we will see what happens here. So as the last few videos, I'm just gonna kind of talk to you a little bit, make a few sound effects. Um, and just see if I can't confuse myself like I already have. I have no idea which one is which. We're going to keep going. Just, just make it even more complicated on myself, I guess. I'm going to switch it up and go over back around as if I wasn't confused enough already. Good enough. So this is glass number one. Peanut butter brittle. Brittle candy. Not peanut butter, peanut, peanut brittle? Yeah, peanut, peanut brittle? Yeah, I think that's it. Peanut brittle, not peanut butter brittle. Is peanut butter brittle a thing? I don't think so. Yeah, peanut brittle. Some cinnamon, just a little bit, not much. Let's see what it tastes like. Well, I can tell it's not Greek anyway. Caramel, peanuts. Um, you get that kind of raw pepper spice. Not a lot of vanilla. Um, maybe some cinnamon. Let's see what glass, glass. See what glass two smells like. This one definitely has way more caramel. Very little vanilla. I'm, actually, I'm looking for the peanuts. I normally get peanuts, but I'm not getting it in here. So, see what she takes like. There is a, um, I get the caramel, I get, uh, I get the rye spice. There's a fruit in there. I want, at first I wanted to say it was cherry, but I don't think it's cherry. It's almost like a, uh, I'd be a stone fruit, apricot, uh, maybe like an apricot possibly. 
don't think I've ever gotten anything like that in a knob creek. So that's interesting. Yeah, there's definitely just more just straight caramel and vanilla on this one. That's weird. That's so I didn't get any fruit flavors that time. I did get the sweet caramel, almost like a candied caramel. So I'm gonna cleanse my palate with a little bit of water, and then we'll go back through and then uh, see. Do you see that? I'm a freaking wreck. All right, so back to glass number one. Yeah, still that peanut brittle candy. A little bit of cinnamon sprinkled on top. Pretty good. Pretty good, nothing really, nothing different. Let's go back to glass number two. So this one is, this one's a bit sweeter. I mean, they're both sweet, obviously like peanut brittle, but this one has the, like the, just a really sweet kind of candy nose to it. I mean, obviously peanut brittle, so that's got a candy nose to it, but this one has a sweeter candy nose to it, if that makes sense. So that fruit that I got earlier, I don't, it might have came through with something else before, but that time, and I think it did through the last time, but it was, it wasn't, it was a medicinal. It was like a cherry, a medicinal cherry. Um, almost like a cough syrup, super, super light. The first time you could taste the fruit, like it was sweet. That last time and, and this, the time before last and this time, it was more of a kind of a, just a medicinal cherry cough syrup sort of thing, so. Kind of a tough one, actually. To be totally honest with you, I thought there was gonna be more difference, more of a difference. Um, that's tough, that's super tough. Um, down on the last, probably got one more, one and a half sips left. So they've opened up in the glass a little bit. If I have to declare a winner, I'm going to say it's, well, I'll be damned. They were like stupid close, stupid close. This one just seemed to be sweeter. It had a little bit more of a sweet um, profile to it. Sing it. Same profile essentially, but this one is a little bit more sweeter. Which, which is, which is surprising because again, three years you would think this one would have more flavor, more sweetness, more of those like the caramels. The uh, you could probably even get into some of the leathers, and I didn't get any like leather or tobacco on any one of these, um, which I normally don't on Knob Creek, but anyway. Um, yeah, that's kind of surprising. So, so hey, yeah, I guess, I guess there you go. Knob Creek non-year, it's on the shelf. It's not as hard to find and it's cheaper than the 12 year. That's kind of disappointing. That's kind of disappointing. Anyway, uh, well, hell, whatever. Hopefully this helped you. Um, this is nice to have on the shelf. 
uh, just to say you have it, but you can't find it. Just just grab a nine year. Just grab a nine year. You can find that just about anywhere. Save yourself like 30 bucks, 25, 30 bucks. Hopefully that helps. If you like the video, consider hitting that thumbs up button, just really whacking it. That'd be awesome. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon so you know when we do more videos and all this ridiculous stuff. Uh, Facebook, Instagram, find us on there. Also on Patreon. That helps the channel out tremendously. Consider consider just taking a look at that. We do offer some stuff on there. It's kind of cool. Um, that's it. Hopefully you got something out of this. Is this the winner? I might as well cheers you with the winner, right? Uh, yeah, so take care and cheers. What a letdown, really, right? What a letdown. I really, I really thought that this one was going to no contest that just that just goes to show you that just goes to show you knob creek i'm not a big jim beam fan i don't like basil hayden um what else do they got uh yeah i don't know they got other things but not a big jim beam not a big basil hayden i'm like not a basil hayden fan at all really but knob creek man i'm not Store picks? I've never had a not bad Knob Creek store pick. Knob, Knob Creek is just, it's, they're good. And they're underrated, I think. Take care.